Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Life's a Project. So I'm back in the garden today and I wanted to share with you how my tomato plants are doing as well as my pepper plants in these two containers at the end of my garden. So let's get to it. So first off, the grass looks horrible. Don't judge. <laughs> so here we go. So starting on this side of the container, actually, just so you can see this determinate tomato plant, this one is called Geranium Kiss, seeds I got online from the In My Gardener. I started my seed using the winter sowing method and planted out my seedling after my last frost date. So it started out like a little bush plant, it sent up this single uh, stem, and now you can see that some more tomatoes are forming up here. Now, the lower portion of this plant, it looks just like one big cluster of little tomatoes. And these little tomatoes are not super small, not like a cherry tomato. They're more like a ping pong ball or golf ball size of tomatoes. But but several are almost ready to harvest, so I cannot wait to harvest one of these and give it a try. So I can probably pick that red one there in front. But overall, super happy with this plant. I definitely want to grow it again next year. Now the other tomato plant growing in this container is a beef steak. The same one that I grew last year. I just loved it. It produces so much fruit. You can see all of these tomatoes on this plant. Now it's an indeterminate variety, which means it just keeps on growing and producing all throughout the season. And I was just really happy with it last year. I had seeds left over. So again, just using that winter sowing method, I planted my seeds in bottles and was able to get my little seedling. Now you can see some of these tomatoes are getting to a really great size like this one and some are smaller kind of in clusters and then over here you can see a few that are starting to turn colors starting to ripen up and so i'll be able to harvest those really soon now this tomato plant does look a little wild and that is because I did not prune it like I normally do my tomato plants. Um, I did not prune those suckers off this year. I just decided to let it go, let it do its thing. And so it does look a little wild and I'm having to use you know, several stakes to stake up all of the branches, but no big deal. I like to use the stretchy tie tape and these stakes that I purchased last year from Tractor Supply. And I just kind of tie them with the stretchy tie tape to hold the branches to the stakes and it works great. So really the majority of the pruning I did yesterday, really just around the bottom to help with that airflow to prevent disease. And guys, the look of these tomatoes, just some of them look so perfect like this one, and some are a pretty good size. But the majority of them I have found to be the size of your vine ripe tomatoes, the ones you see in the store. And really those are the ones that I purchase the majority of the time when you know garden tomatoes are no longer available. And I do notice that the leaves are looking a little yellow. I have not been fertilizing it like I should, so I will fertilize these tomato plants later on today, and that should help it because I know it's getting enough water, so I know that's not the issue. Now in this container, I have my pepper plants. Now again, I started my seedlings using the winter sowing method. In bottles, grew my seedlings over the winter, and they did great. They were a little small when I planted them out after my last frost date, but they just took off and did just fine. Now the majority of the peppers in here are California Wander bell peppers. I also have some uh, banana peppers in here as well. Now I like to grow my peppers really close together. They do just fine. I can do a couple in a square foot of space. So I have about seven or eight uh, peppers in here growing. So a couple of times this year I have found tomato hornworms munching on my pepper plants. Now I usually see them on my pepper plants as well as tomato plants. And you really just gotta pick these guys off because they will start at the tip of your plants or the branches of your tomato plants and just eat off the leaves and even eat holes in the fruit. A couple of my peppers had holes in them and so I did lose a couple of peppers because of these guys. So if you see them, pick them off because they will destroy your plants. 
Now these sweet banana peppers and these California Wonder Bell peppers are the same ones that I grew last year. They performed great, produced a lot of fruit, and so I decided to grow them again because I already had some seeds left over. Now I did do a little bit of an experiment where I purchased organic bell peppers from the grocery store back in the fall. I saved those seeds and planted them out and treated them just like I did store-bought seeds. And you know what? They did fantastic. You can see here I have the plants. They look the same as the other ones. They have produced fruit. Those peppers look the same as the other ones. I really cannot tell a difference. So I think this experiment was a success. Now I could go ahead and harvest the peppers the way they are now, these banana peppers, that yellow, and the bell peppers, that green color, but I like to give them more time to get a little sweeter, to change their color to more of the orangey red color, so both ways is fine. Now I also grew a little Tiny Tim dwarf tomato plant this year and it is looking pretty pitiful now starting to die back because it is a determinate type of tomato plant. It really just stayed really compact and small. It just grew to a determined size, put on some fruit, and then that's pretty much it. So I did get about three to four good handfuls of some little tomatoes to enjoy. So great for growing in containers and hanging baskets. And then you may notice the drip lines in these containers. Most of you know that James and I installed drip irrigation in the garden and that was by far the best investment and so worth the money. So if you'd like to check out how we installed drip irrigation in the garden and the supplies you're going to need, you can go back and check out that video. And guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this update. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope you will subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.